In this video, we will show you the basics of using iTick NextGen to file locate requests. Upon logging into iSight, the first screen you see should be the NextGen interface. If not, click the NextGen button in the upper left corner of the screen. To begin a session with iTick NextGen, first ensure that your caller information is correct and that you have the Louisiana tab selected. Then click the New Ticket button at the bottom of the screen. With iTick NextGen, you start the locate process by locating and identifying the worksite on the map. Enter an address or name of a building in the Starting Address Location field. Once you have found the correct location, you can start mapping out your worksite. You will do this by creating one or more shapes on the map that represent your excavation area. These shapes are called excavation entities. You have several options available to ensure you can precisely and accurately cover your worksite. Let's take a look at them now. The Create Circle tool allows for the placement of one or more circular excavation entities. Click the Create Circle button and enter a radius when prompted. This will determine the circle's size. With the Circle tool active, click the map where you would like to place your first circle. You can continue clicking to place more circles on the map. To leave Create Circle mode, click End Circle. The Create Route tool is used for creating long and narrow excavation entities. You will be prompted to enter a width. Start creating your route by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue clicking until you have reached the end of your route. Then click End Route. If your route is not wide enough to cover the work area, don't worry. You can edit the route's width after you've drawn it. We'll come back to that in a moment. The next tool is Select Parcel. The Select Parcel tool allows you to use parcel data to map out the work area. With Select Parcel mode on, click the area of excavation. If parcel data is available, a red border will surround the property, which is typically divided into halves or quarters. You can select or deselect parcel sections by clicking on them. If the parcel doesn't quite cover your worksite, you can use the Extend Parcel feature. To activate Extend Parcel mode, Click the checkbox within the End Parcel button. Then click outside the property's border where you would like to extend the parcel entity. The parcel mapping will expand accordingly. To return to the original parcel size, click within the parcel's border. Similar to Select Parcel, Select Feature allows you to create excavation entities based on available map features, such as roads or highways. After entering a width, click the road the work is taking place on. You can extend the feature mapping by clicking further along the road. To deselect a section of road, simply click it a second time. To turn off Select Feature Mode, click End Feature. The Create Polygon tool allows you to freehand draw an excavation entity and should only be used in situations where no other excavation entity will properly cover the dig site. In Create Polygon mode, click on the map where you would like to begin. Continue setting points until you have encompassed the entire work area. To close out the polygon, click on the same point where you began. This will end Create Polygon mode. You can modify any of the excavation entities you have created in your session by clicking the Edit Locates button. While in edit mode, you can delete any excavation entity by right-clicking on it. Left-clicking on an entity while in edit mode will allow you to modify any aspect of it. When you have finished mapping and your entire excavation area has been encompassed, click Next.